Hello folks, this is Mike DeBruzzo, K91 Specialized Dog Training, coming to you at 2 a.m. from inside Dog Training Area 51. Don't ask why I'm here this early in the morning, but Hunky doesn't seem to mind. He's behind me chewing on a snack back there somewhere on the, the really cool colored blanket. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using um, the pinch collar. I'm going to be demoing the pinch collar on, on Hunky um, to show you its proper use in aggression rehab. So, one of the first questions you may have, hair on me or something, one of the first questions you may have is why use the pinch collar, Mike? It's, isn't that cruel? Um, the best answer to that is no, it, it's, a, it's not cruel if it's used properly. And we use it um, because for this stage in the training we feel that it's actually going to be the training collar that he's going to take to best and the one we're going to be able to use the gentlest on him compared to, to, other, to other collars. And other collars are just not going to be a good option for, you know, for, for certain reasons. Um, to give you an example, a um, very common training collar you know, that people use in training or the halty style. This one is um, a, a gentle leader and the way this works is it goes on the dog's neck and then it kind of goes over their snout. If you can imagine this is this is a dog um, and you kind of lead the dog and manipulate the dog by putting the leash to the loop you know o over over here. Um, now some people would say this is you know much gentler you know that than the pinch collar. Why wouldn't you use that? The problem arises in aggression rehab um, when you're working with a dog that doesn't really that has some issues with people manipulating him. Um, um, like Hunky, that's one of his issues. Compared to the pinch collar, this is actually going to be forcing more movement on his head and like twisting his neck and stuff like that. Um, which, if done with the dog that doesn't have a, um, aggression issues that he's trying to o overcome, or you know, a puppy or something, it may not be you know that big big of a deal. But it could potentially you know cause some issues when we're doing the aggression rehab with him. The other um, thing about this that doesn't make it the best choice for him is we're, we're unable to use a muzzle at the same time as we're using the you know the the, gent the gentle leader collar. Um, which is going to be necessary for many parts in the uh, training, but it's not a bad collar. It's just not it's not the best one for you know for for him at, at this time. Um, the pinch collar, um, which is this is a little little one, so I can put it on my wrist. Um, a lot of people are very you know they they're very wary of it. They don't understand it. Um, but in reality, this was invented actually to be safe for the dog's neck. Um, I believe it was invented by a German veterinarian um, who noticed, you know, trachea damage on some dogs from using, you know, the standard choke collars, which those, those are one collars we really do, do not use here. Um, and when these are used, it actually distributes the correction evenly around the dog's neck. It's they kind of the, there's a little chain that goes through two opposite rings over here that does equal distribution around the dog's neck when you when you pull on it like that. Um, these are not supposed to be used harshly, at least the way that we use them. You know, some trainers you'll see they'll pop the dogs on these really hard. That's not how that's not how you're gonna want to do it in uh, in aggression rehab. We're actually gonna do little tiny pops to kind of help to use these little tiny pinches. This collar actually does, does little tiny pinches and it helps move the dog, you know, helps us to manipulate the dog a little bit easier so we can actually be gentle and stay calm with, you know, with, with the dog. So just remember, no matter what collar you are using, let me see, I got the camera over here, make sure you're using it respectfully. Respect is 
um, one of the most important things that you must take into consideration when you're training a dog. If you're ever doing anything or you're watching a trainer that's doing something that you feel in your heart is disrespectful, then it is wrong. Trust me, you never have to be disrespectful to the dog in order to, in order to train it. You never have to raise your voice. You never have to correct a dog hard enough to make them cry or tuck their tail or make them really scared. It just does not have to be uh, you know, you know, done. Um, so even though those are two of the main options um, for us to train a dog, um, I believe I get the camera back on me. Right back on me. Yeah, I believe I'm, I'm still in there. Um, okay. Um, that uh, you know, some people just don't know how to how, how to really do it the right way. Um, the you know when Hunky we got Hunky over here because. You know, it was a big deal because he was slotted for euthanasia, and at first it was recommended um, that he not be brought over here because of the the cruel training methods that were going to be done here. Um, and instead, he was given a uh, considered a less cruel option, which uh, comes in the form of a syringe called called euthanasia. Um, here at Canine One, we never do anything to the dogs unless we'll do it to ourselves, and we want the, uh, you know, the the handlers, the owners of the dogs, to do it to themselves too. So they, so just to make sure that everyone's on, on, on the same page. Euthanasia is something that I'm not willing to demo on myself, and therefore it's never an option here for the dogs. We found there's always a solution besides this solution uh, for the, you know, for for the dogs. Um, so before I demonstrate, you know, what it looks like when the pinch collar is being used properly um, on Hunky, um, I'll show you what happens when he used it on me. I did promise Hunky that not only will I do these things to myself, I'll actually allow him to do it on me first to show him that it's not going to be so bad. So um, he, he, he did use the collar on me, and as I recall, it, was, it looked something like uh, this. done folks um, but unfortunately there's a trainer near you I guarantee who has about as much skill in using the pinch collar or prong collar as hunky does and is training dogs like that right now probably as you're you're watching this um, and they think that it's normal and that it's right but I can assure you that's not right it's not necessary if you have your dog in a training program where that's how they're training the dogs um, um, you should probably remove your dog from it as soon as possible. Um, before we use this on uh, Hunky, I'm going to just give it a different name, just to kind of even uh, the playing field. Um, the, normally, we got the gentle leader, and we got the pinch collar. But really, names could be deceiving. I'll give you a little quiz. Like, what makes a training collar cruel? Is it A, how it looks, B, what it's called, pinch or prong collar, gentle leader. C, it's potential for abuse. Or D, um, how, it, how it can be used, how it can be used. Um, I think I did that quiz, right? D, well, of course the answer is D, you know, how, how it can be used. So just to even the playing field, I'm trying to think, um, this is the gentle leader, this is the pinch collar. I was thinking of changing the name either so keep this, keep calling this the pinch collar, and we'll just call this one the neck twister. So we could have the neck twister and the pinch collar. It makes them kind of kind of equal, right? The neck twister could be used cruelly if we jerk it real hard and we're twisting the neck. The pinch collar could be cruel if we're jerking the thing, you know, real, you know, too too hard. The other thing we could do, what I prefer to do, which I named it for Hunky, is we'll you know keep this being called the gentle leader, and we'll call this the gentle necklace. So this will be the gentle necklace, and that's what I call it for Hunky, so he doesn't, you know, think it's anything all that bad. Um, and let's see how Hunky does. 
Uh, see if I get this camera on here again. Oops. On the floor. Sorry, folks. Hopefully, he'll be in camera. Oh, I don't even have a leash. I don't even have a leash for you, honey. 